let a b and c be integers in this video i'm going to show that if a divides b and b divides c then a divides c to show this i'm going to use the definition by definition we have that if a divides b then there exists an integer c such that b is equals to ac so in this case we are having a divides b if there exists an integer c1 such that b is equals to a c1 in this case i used an integer c1 to differentiate it from the c that we have there then we by definition we have b divides c if there exists an integer which i'll call c2 such that c is equals to bc2 i'll go on and label the equations and this one here the first equation then the second one i'll call it number two from equation number two there we are having that c is equals to bc2 but from equation one we have b is equals to ac1 so if you substitute this b here into this equation what would have there is c is equals to ac1 multiplied by c2 i can put the c2 in the parenthesis there and we would have a multiplied by c1 times c2 on this part here c1 times c2 these are just integers so when you multiply two integers we can get another integer let's call that integer c3 so we'd have c1 times c2 is equals to c3 so our equation then becomes a c3 so what we are having there is the c is equals to a c3 where c3 is an integer but this by definition c is equals to a c3 where c3 is an integer it means that a divides c so what we are having there if a divides b and b divides c then a divides c